The promise of hope comes in Jesus Christ. And we're not disputing that. I feel like this is not, a, this is not something new. You're not going to come to a, a, the first Sunday of Advent to be like, you know, he, he said that we should hope in something else. We're going to hope in Jesus, but there is a, a fleshing out of what that hope is, that we're hoping in the establishment of, king, of his kingdom, that he would guide us into truth in a way that leads us into greater peace. The holidays can bring up a lot of dysfunction. Family gatherings are not always the harmonious events that we would uh, proclaim them to be. There is oftentimes a lot of stress, or it's the memory of falling out. Or as the conclusion of the year takes place, it's, you, you think to yourself, I certainly have not allowed the kingdom of God to have its ruling effect on my life. But these hopes are an invitation. This, these verses provide us with the invitation. Come, house of Jacob. Come, people of God. Come and walk in the Lord's light. Consider the kingdom of God. Does he truly rule in your life? It's one thing to say, well, I believe in Jesus for the forgiveness of sin, but there is a, a newness of life that is found such that we are submitted to him in allegiance to the kingdom. This is a promise that calls us into faith, believing that Jesus will make good on his word, regardless of and in spite of darkness that we will in turn face. We read in Romans 5 about the role of hope. Therefore, since we've been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. We've also obtained access through him by faith into this grace in which we stand. We boast in the hope of the glory of God. And not only that, we boast in our afflictions. The very things that would cause us to lose faith, we boast in those things. Because we know that affliction produces endurance, endurance produces proven character, and proven character produces hope. This hope will not disappoint us, because God's love has been poured out in our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. Consider the ways that as you walk into this Christmas season, into this Advent season, how does your life demonstrate a tangible hope in Jesus Christ. Perhaps in the mindset of the kingdom. Perhaps in the outflow of new habits and new actions that are rooted in the actions of Jesus Christ. Perhaps in the making of peace. Enjoying the peace that we have with God through forgiveness, but spreading that peace into the lives of others. We consider the words of Isaiah 1, the invitation that Isaiah gives to the people of God who were, who were struggling and wrestling in their sin. Wash yourselves, cleanse yourselves, remove your evil deeds from my sight, stop doing evil. Learn to do what is good, pursue justice, correct the oppressor, defend the rights of the fatherless, plead the widow's cause. Come, let's settle this, says the Lord. Though your sins are scarlet, they will be white as snow. Though they are crimson red, they will be like wool. Jesus Christ wants to forgive, to restore, and bring hope to you. And the invitation for hope is here again. Hope of a kingdom to come, and that will show us the ways of the Lord that bring peace with God and with each other. You are invited into hope this Advent season, and so come. Let's walk in the Lord's light, the light of the peacemaking Savior together.